Modern people, continually pressed for time, can't find cures for sickness caused by overwork and stress. Especially, indigestion is never avoidable. And since they tend to crave simple and stimulating meals rather than nutritious ones, their stomachs suffer. A human body is formed by various organs. Out of all those organs, the stomach is an important organ that produces energy by digesting and absorbing food. In fact, going over the statistics from the Korean National Cancer Center, we can see that stomach cancer is the most common one, and it is reaching a serious standard. Although it's not as serious as the stomach cancer, it appears that patients are increasing continuously due to various stomach problems. The stomach is the first thing that needs to be checked in order to lead a healthy life. Korean traditional medicine also puts a high importance on digestive disorders. Well then, how does it find a good digestive system that allows us to eat and digest the food well? A grand sauna operation room in Seoul. All heating machines here are operated 24 hours. Mr. Moon works here from 7 a.m. to 8.30 in the evening. Here, he is unable to relax even for a moment. He is the person responsible for all these machines. As danger could occur at any minute, it requires him to be tense at all times. Thus, Mr. Moon is under high stress from his job. The continuation of this tense and stressful work environment goes on. Mr. Moon is a typical case of all modern people. He returns home around this time. Since he comes home late every day, he usually eats alone. Having dinner after nine hours since lunch, it is only natural to expect some disorders in his body. A digestive disorder is one of them, which he can't avoid. Hence, he has been suffering from this for over 10 years. Whether serious or not, 25% of Koreans carry digestive disorders. Although it is not serious enough to threaten lives, it is taking away the enthusiasm to live a healthy life. In the case of Mr. Moon, he has visited the hospital numerous times to find a cure, though the actual cause has yet to be found, leaving him helpless. Mr. Moon, who had not found any internal problems, had visited a Korean traditional medicine clinic. Rather than pointing out where the problems or the injuries are internally, Korean traditional medicine checks whether the digestive organs are moving properly and maintaining their functions, 
and also observes whether the vital energy and the circulation of fluid are flowing well. It therefore concentrates on finding the cause of the diseases that do not appear in the endoscope test. Through a stomach examination, we're going to find out whether the organs have a considerable elasticity for digestion. We're also going to check whether there are any pains by pressing the digestive organ locations. The frown on Mr. Moon's face whenever he presses his stomach is a sign showing that something is wrong in his digestive system. Apart from treating stomach inflammation and ulcers, Korean traditional medicine is most effective for problems associated with stomach functions. By smoothing the flow of the fluid and the vital energy through acupuncture, we can cure digestive upsets. And by applying acupuncture on the spots that stimulate the stomach, it then improves its function. Overall, the aim of this type of treatment is to develop your own immunity. Mrs. Che, who was born with a weak stomach, complains of indigestion several times a week. Although she has recovered from an operation due to a lump in the stomach a few years ago, the symptoms of indigestion never seem to have disappeared. According to the Korean traditional medical examination, she also has a problem with the level of stomach function. Mrs. Che is unable to digest food, and although she is slim, she is following an exercise routine to strengthen the stomach. As a first step, she avoids indigestible food made of flour and those containing heavy oil. Having attempted strongly to overcome this disorder by exercising continuously, the effect does not seem to appear to match her effort. Mrs. Che was asked to visit a clinic for an endoscope test to check whether these symptoms have been derived internally. She doesn't seem to show much hope since she has gone through this numerous times. The result appears to be clean and the previous stomach inflammation had fully recovered. There were residues still remaining from the stomach ulcer treatment. From this result, there appears to be no problem with the digestive system. Then why is she still suffering from indigestion?
아무 이상이 없는 경우가 많이 있거든요. 그런 경우에 과거에는 이제 뭐 신경성 위험이다, 뭐 신경성 질환이다 이렇게 얘기를 했는데 그러한 것들이 이제 기능성 소화불량증이다 이렇게 우리가 최근에 얘기를 하고 그러한 것들이 사실은 대부분에서 여러 가지 스트레스라든가 심리적인 음, 원인들이 관여하고 있다고 우리 생각하고 있습니다. While there are no particular problems in the internal organs, a number of people suffering from serious discomforts are yet increasing every day. In fact, a majority of patients coming to the hospital with indigestion have similar symptoms as Mrs. Che. The medical field, which used to ascribe this simply as a stress problem, is now paying attention to the movement of organs. Korean traditional medicine, which puts a great amount of importance in the movement of organs, is currently using scientific machines to make measurements. The doctor who discovered that those patients coming to the hospital with indigestion have problems with the movement of organs is in the process of finding an exact cause by a bioelectric activity test. Although there may be only one symptom of indigestion, depending on the movement of the stomach, treatments may vary. Firstly, we have checked Mr. Moon's stomach movement. Two tests will be carried out to measure the stomach movement, one before food and one after food. A bioelectric activity test uses electricity to perceive whether the stomach is moving at a regular rate. The stomach has a spot called pace setter that works like a power plant where it regulates a slow wave for a normal person. There is one wave every 20 seconds, activating the stomach to move. Our interest is to find out whether the wave will appear just as a normal person or not. What would Mr. Moon be like? For a normal person, the rate of the wave needs to be regular while maintaining a regular wave range. This was not the case for Mr. Moon. As compared to a normal person, the stomach was moving excessively while it was weak. We decided to recheck how it moved after a standard meal of 450 calories. A disorder was evidenced with an empty stomach. Will it become normal after food has been ingested? The result on the computer monitor appeared to be worse after food was introduced to the stomach. During the whole 20 minutes of inspection, the movement rate was very irregular. Furthermore, we could see that the slow wave appeared more frequently than a normal person after food was introduced to the stomach. The same treatment was given to Mrs. Che. In order to measure an empty stomach, we have asked her not to take in any food all day. We found that her status was worse than Mr. Moon. The stomach, which should be moving regularly, was only moving occasionally at a frozen status. Thus, the horizontal lines showing on the computer clearly show that the stomach was not moving. To check the rate of the movement after the ingestion of food, Mrs. Che was asked to take in some food. In some cases, even though movement may drop on an empty stomach status, it could still return to normal after food was ingested. So, how will it turn out for Mrs. Che? 
Again, the result was poor. For instance, Mr. Moon's stomach movement was too fast. Mrs. Che's stomach did not even move or the movement rate had dropped. Uh, Mr. Moon and Mrs. Che are typical examples of stomach movement disorder. Generally, checking the patients with indigestion can be divided into an excessive and a lack of stomach movement. The treatment will differ for each case. So, how will Korean traditional medicine treat these two cases? Firstly, to stimulate the stomach directly, we have applied acupuncture to three different spots. The stomach is located approximately in the center of the stomach area. Thus, acupuncture is applied on this spot to stimulate it. Going up six centimeters from the wrist, there is a spot called neguan. Acupuncture is also applied here. Going down about three fingers toward the ankle, there is a spot called choksang ne. This is considered to be an important fluid circulation spot to cure stomach disorders. In the past, it was believed that a healthy stomach could be maintained by applying moxibustion continuously to this spot. There is a record of this also extending life expectation by preventing diseases in the stomach. Acupuncture is applied directly to the center of the stomach, called chungwan, in order to stimulate it directly. This therefore enhances the movement of the stomach and subsequently accelerates digestion. Acupuncture applied to neguan and choksang ne can bring about an indirect effect. Acupuncture applied to these spots flows through the meridian toward the brain to stimulate it and transfers back down to the stomach. The acupuncture treatment, therefore, stimulates the organ directly and also indirectly through the brain. In the case of an excess syndrome, indigestion can occur easily since the state of the stomach is not as strong as the movement of the stomach. The medication method in this case enhances the withdrawal of food residues in the stomach and prevents all unnecessary secretion of gastric fluid. The special feature of a deficiency syndrome is that the movement of the stomach is slow, subsequently reducing its function. This is commonly described as a stomach weakness. This can be improved by using medicines such as ginseng to revitalize the energy and also improve stomach function. This can prevent us from getting tired quickly. From the two cases we saw, patients experiencing problems with stomach movement, 
function can be recouped by using different medications to bring about a normal digestive system. If we regard the health we were born with as part of nature, then maintaining our health through eating nutritious food will be a job which we need to carry out throughout our lifetime. Thus, living healthy without any sickness is most important. However, troubles tend to occur, whether our bodies have been looked after too well or not enough. Korean traditional medicine aims at assisting our body to maintain its optimal condition, just to carry out its functions properly as nature intended. In our body, there is a soul, and it is respiration that links both our body and soul. Let's try to moderate a gastroenteric disorder caused by stress. Taking the navel as the center, put your hand lightly on the stomach. This is the abdominal spot. Breathe not only through the nose, Breathe deep breaths taken from the abdomen, which is the essence of our health. The most basic respiration starts by lying down comfortably. Take a deep breath, enough to fill the whole stomach, and let it out strong enough to flatten the stomach. This will be effective if you follow it for about 10 to 20 minutes. Now sit straight with your legs spread out before you. Pretend that you will breathe out right to the end of your toes. Once your breath reaches your toes, release them straight. This time, do it the opposite. Breathe in by pulling the toes toward the body. Now lean back, supporting yourself with your fingers. This respiration helps to stimulate the splenetic of the stomach and the meridium, thereby helping the circulation of blood. Open your legs wide while straightening the back and spine. Twist the pelvis to the left and right. Facing the front, straighten your back. Repeat this step three times. Lean back using your fingers. If this step is carried out together with the abdominal respiration, it can help to relieve a blocked stomach by stimulating its meridian. This then enhances digestion by directly stimulating the stomach. Now, cross your left leg over the right knee and hold it using your right hand. Move your right leg, left hand, and the hip in a straight line, twisting the spine. At the same time, use your left fingers to lean back, facing backwards, and control your breath. Doing this repetitively stimulates the stomach. Finally, stand up, bringing your hands together, and twist your body to the side. Slowly move the right hand down, touching the floor, and bringing it back up, pointing toward the ceiling. Your eyes should be on the fingertips. This step is effective in strengthening your stomach and spleen at the same time. Thus, following this repetitively can strengthen their functions, thereby overcoming various stress.